And welcome folks, welcome to a new Let's Play. Welcome to Let's Play The Dark Eye. A point and click adventure game released in 1995. Roughly based around some um, horror stories by Edgar Allan Poe. And voiced by the prominent writer William S. Burroughs, um, known for for instance, The Naked Lunch, and if you have seen the movie um, that was made from this book, then you know that William S. Burroughs is a very strange guy. And this is a very strange video game, as you will witness in a moment. And a crow cried there uh, for some reason. Yes, I have no prior experience with this game. Without any further ado, we shall start a new game, entitled Game. And I do hope that this is recording correctly, because I had exceedingly, in an exceedingly difficult time getting this A to run and B to record. This is running in Windows 3.1 installed in DOSBox. Just to give you an idea of how awkward the setup is, but um, it should work now, hopefully. For the wild narrative which I'm about to tell, I neither expect nor ask for belief. It would be mad to expect such a thing, in a case where my own senses reject their evidence. Yet I'm not mad. And I surely do not dream. Okay, that is us. Um, and you may have noticed that this is already getting, starting off very strange. It will get stranger in a moment. Um, but for now, uh, we can only click on our face. Yeah, this is a very simple adventure game. It doesn't have an inventory. Just click on things and basically unlock the next video, but I think it's still... It has a great atmosphere to it. I suppose you're the young master Mr. Aldwich waits for. <clears throat> Go ahead on in. Hmm. Okay, apparently we are related to some guy named Aldwich and the servant just magically disappeared for some reason. Okay. Not going to question that. Um, there you are. You haven't just come, but it's exceedingly dangerous to traverse the coast this time of day. Hmm. Why is it um, why it is dangerous at this time of day? I mean, it's we're in full daylight, so it should be least dangerous, I would suppose. Okay, anyway. I'm so glad you came. I find that the pleasant company of my relations calms my nerves. Hmm. There's some strange drawings on the wall. And you're not going to talk to me, are you? I can click on this, however. Careful, I use a special thinner. The fumes can do all sort of damage to you. A painter I knew fairly went mad from it. Hmm, you look pretty mad, I must say. Uh, but we're not going to drink this thinner. Poor soul. He scratched out his own eyes in a fit of frenzy. His own eyes! Oh. Well, I suppose it's better than scratching out someone else's eyes. Um. Hmm. Just watch that you keep the windows open. No, I'm not going to. Can I? I have a surprise. Your brother Henry is here. He's upstairs visiting with the least even now. Hmm. 
apparently we have a brother named Henry. And I'm not sure whether he said that uh, he is visiting someone named Berenice. It's a pastime of mine. By keeping my mind occupied, I attempt to dispel some of the constitutional agitation which afflicts me. Constitutional affliction, huh? You're not mad, are you, by any chance? Hmm. Well, goodbye, strange old man. I'm... well, there's an office, it appears. With a letter I can't read and a knife I can also not interact with. Hmm. In the cage that I cannot interact with too. So I suppose that I should really leave now. Go upstairs to meet our brother Henry. What a delightful time that was. Cousin, you've come. Oh, we're so happy. Oh, dear brother, delighted to see you. Please join us. Henry has just been relating his adventures to me. He's been everywhere. Hmm. Adventures, huh? But my travels are over. I'm ready to settle down. Hmm. That's a piano. Can I play? Indeed I can. You play so beautifully. Indeed I do. And just by pressing down the left mouse button. Can I play another song? No, just the same old song. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hmm, I can talk to you, I think. How did you find Uncle Edwin? We're worried about him. He is consumed by his paintings. Hmm. Are you unwell? You look a little peaked. Peaked? I beg your pardon. I'm not peak it. Okay, maybe I am. And things have gotten much stranger suddenly. I don't quite get what this voice is saying. Sounds like now or something like that. Hmm. Let's check out these other rooms. Nothing but an empty table. What about this other room? Hmm. Nothing near this window. This room is apparently not of interest either. So I think we should head back downstairs um, and inform our uncle Edwin Aldrich that we probably have inhaled too much of this thinner 
and are in need of medical attention. Or maybe the drinking water here just contains some LSD. Hmm. Okay, these frames are all empty. Hmm. Our uncle is gone. Hmm. But he left us thinner. Ah, oh, and I think we're getting warmer because a new sound has kicked in. I think we can now, yes, we can click on, we can't click on the letter, but we can click on the knife. Uh, Enter strange dreamlike sequence involving broken teeth. Dear Dr. Reynolds. Each time she falls into another of her trances, she emerges ever more stricken and ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth. Hmm. Dear Dr. Reynolds, I am much concerned about Berenice. Each time she falls into another of her trances. Hmm. And there's a draw. Each year's. Look after Berenice. Each year's. I suppose we are EGS then. Uh, I think we're not in the same, not in the same, well, universe, if you can call it that, as we were before. Uh, Ever less the happy cousin I remember from my youth. Hmm. Of course, the outside is not not orange anymore. <laughs> Berenice. Hmm. Okay. Apparently, we know something called Berenice. Is this Berenice? Maybe? Then would, we would probably be our uncle now. I will muse for long unwearied hours with my attention riveted to some frivolous device in the margin of a book. Hmm. So are we E.G.S. Poynton then? Or repeat monotonously some common word, 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 word until the word, sound word, ceases word, to convey word, any word, idea word, whatever word, to the word. mind. Hmm. Okay, whatever we are, um, I think we're going to find out, perhaps, hopefully, in the next episode. Um, yeah, so until next time, folks, um, till then.